Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. Um, good show to get into today. It's going to be interesting. Uh, Demetrius Andre and Jason Quigley, our official um, fight is official um, for November 19th um, up uh, near Andre's hometown. Uh, let's let's get into this, but before we do, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. 3D Boxing comes at you twice a day. Every day, uh, please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. I had a lot of content. Uh, I have, uh, uh, well, I uploaded a video on um, Juan Tapia, who was supposed to fight on a top ranked card on November 5th. Uh, please go check that out. Uh, it's interesting. Um, uh, just go go check that out and let me know what you guys think. Um, there's going to be a, an update to that piece tomorrow on uh, TexasBoxingScene.com. Um, but check out. Um, Check it out. Uh, please subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene. All, all um, proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Demetrius Andre and Jason Quigley is uh, official um, November 19th in Manchester, not in England, in, in Manchester, New Hampshire. Um, wanted to get into that. Um, it, it, it's, it's, it's a good card. You got uh, Julio Cesar Martinez and McWilliams Arroyo on the undercard. You have Akhmadiliev and Rios on the undercard. Um, this is an interesting fight, right? Um, first of all, Andre <laughs> says, I want Charlo. Oh, I want Canelo. He calls out Canelo. He calls out Triple G. Um, calls out. Kel, Charles, Triple G, you know, everyone the who's who of, 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 of 160 and 168, right? He wants Charlo, he wants Canelo, he wants Triple G. Eddie Hearn says, best I can do is Jason Quigley. No no disrespect to Jason Quigley. Really, really good fighter. Obviously not on the level of the other three. Um, look, Quigley's coming off a, a very contested, very close competitive win over Shane Mosley Jr., um, to put that in perspective, Shane Mosley Jr., not to put any shade in his name, is a 17-4 and four fighter uh, who has losses to Cannon Adams, uh, David Toussaint, uh, Mark Christopher Adkins, you know, names like that. Um, so, <laughs> again, I'm not trying to disrespect Quigley. I think Quigley's a decent fighter. I think I'm going to do a, a show tomorrow. I'll break it down quickly a little bit because he's not a bad fighter. He's just obviously not going to win this fight because he's not at a world championship level. And, and, and for all, all of uh, Andre's kind of war, he is a world champ. <coughs> Sorry. He's a world champion fighter. He's been a world champion for a long time. He just really hasn't fought anybody good. Um, you know, quickly fought right before the pandemic in January of 2020, and he beat Fernando Marion in three rounds. Uh, then he came back, you know, after the pandemic uh, in in May, and he beat Shane Mosley Jr. And now he's back against Andre. You know, I, I think Andre, the one loss quickly has is Torino Johnson, and uh, Torino Johnson's a good fighter, um, again, but he's not a world championship fighter either. Um, quickly is, is gonna this is but this is typical, you know, this is typical. Andre, these are the kind of guys he fights. Look, I'm not putting – Andre is 30-0 with 18 knockouts. He's now 33 years old. So he's leaving his prime and entering his mid-30s, right? Like by 33 at the very end of your prime, and this is it. So, I mean, look, Andre has been a world champion since he won the vacant WBO belt in 2013. That's eight years he's been a world champion, okay? Here's the names he's beaten. Brian Rose, Dario Pachetta. Willie Nelson, Jack Coquet, Alantes Fox, Walter Kakendawa, Ator Akavov, Siliski Killer, and Len Liam Williams. Guys, 
I mean, what's his best win? So he's been a champion for eight years. His best win is Selisky and Von Small Rosen as a champion. You know, his best was probably Freddie Hernandez back in 2013 at 154. I, I, I don't mean to laugh. But, I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, when he was with Star Promotions, right, Joe DeGuardi and Star Promotions, and they couldn't get him a fight. Okay, he's not with one of the majors. He's with a kind of middling promoter. They can't get him a big fight. He went to Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn's done worse for him. And, and this is, look, <clears throat> this is who he's fought. Is is what the Alantes Fox fight was a matchroom card? No, that was still Golden Boy. That was a Golden Boy card. Okay, so since he joined with Eddie Hearn, he's what Artur Akavov, Soliski, Killer, Liam Williams. Okay, that's worse than what Joe DeGuardia did for him. Alantes Fox, Jack Quilquet, Willie Nelson, uh, Brian Rose, Von Smarter Rosen, Freddie Hernandez. Those are actually Brady Brewer. Those are actually better names. <laughs> than what they did for him, um, than, than what Eddie Hearn did for him. I don't mean, I was like, I think Andre's a good fighter. He's a skilled fighter. He's now over the, he's now aging. Boo Boo's now 33, believe it or not. And he's on, he's on the downside now. I mean, the, the best of Demetrius Andre, we never got to see, see because these are the type of fighters he fights. And look, he's a tremendously skilled fighter. He's got good pop, although he can't finish people. He hurts everyone early in the fights, then lets him off the hook. Um, he had some moments with Liam Williams. Well, Williams looked good, although Williams isn't a bad fighter. Uh, before that, he did stop uh, Luke Keeler. But this is so disappointing because Andre was an Olympian, a heck of an amateur, one of the best amateurs we've had in, in the U.S. system in a while. Really, really good fighter. And he just never got a chance. And I'm not saying he's ducking people, dodging people. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying for some reason, he never got a fight. You know, Canelo said, you're, you're a champion, but you fight with nobody. And he fights with nobody. This is not, a, I mean, it's not. Look, if you were an up-and-coming fighter and you were working on your first title shot, and I said Liam Williams, Luke Keeler, um, Brian Rose. I mean, okay, you, you, you're working on a title shot. Not you've been a champion for eight years in two weight classes, and this is your resume, guys. Uh, I mean, this is for a guy at South Bowl with as much skills and power as, as, as he has. And I know his knockout ratio ain't great because he can't finish people, but that's besides the point. But he'll hurry everyone the first two, three rounds, drop him, beat him up, then let him up the hook and go into boo boo mode and outbox him. You know, lose some rounds here and there and take a decision. Uh, in the Motor Rosa fight, he, he gave away so many rounds. He, he almost lost the fight. Like, he said, okay, did he win all of the first seven rounds? Because he gave away the second half of the fight. Um, But Boo Boo's an excellent fighter. It's just it's, it's a shame that he never got a, a big name fight. You know, I really think Selisky is the best fighter he's ever fought. And, and Selisky's a good fighter. Um, but. You know, what's Selisky's best win? Gabe Rosado, right? His best win is a competitive loss to Jacobs. Oh, he's got a win over Jack Quoke, right? I, I, he does have some wins. Again, Selisky's not a bad fighter, but it's not like, okay, that's not a big money fight. It's not a big name. It, it, it's Selisky. It's what it is. And that's the best he's ever gotten. Guys, let me know what you think. I'm going to do a show tomorrow on Quickly because I don't think Quickly is bad. I'm going to break them down a little bit. Uh, but let me, know you guys, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like and subscribe, share in all forms of social media. Uh, also, the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, check out that piece I did on um, that video I did on Juan Tappy and his situation. There's more to come on that tomorrow. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, everything on Texas Boxing Team goes to Autism Research and Recovery. It is October 4th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3 Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.